Speed has a new role in Legend ZA. Real-time combat makes turn order a thing of the past, so instead, speed reduces move cooldowns. But exactly how much does speed reduce your cooldowns? I haven't been able to find much information about this on the internet, and so I decided I'd do some testing. To begin with, I wanted to test the sensitivity of the speed cooldown formula. So I chose four Pokemon that all have similar but not identical speeds. I took three Flabebes with 12, 16, and 19 speed, and a Hippopotas with 23 speed. Now, I have them all using the move Tackle, which has a base cooldown in Legends ZA of 4. Now, there's 60 frames in a second, so in absence of the influence of speed, the cooldown of Tackle should take 240 frames. Let's see how it plays out with our test subjects. There we go, 240 frames. No effect at all from speed. This was quite surprising to me. I was expecting maybe 237 frames. I mean, these speed stats aren't zero, but no. It turns out that speed just doesn't do anything up till at least 23. I decided to come back with some faster Pokemon. I taught Tackle to an Avalug, a Furfru, a Pyroar, and a Lopunny. Now this Lopunny is the fastest thing I could acquire. It's only level 74, but I haven't been in the game yet. I dumped all of my XP candies into it, I dumped all of my Carbos and Swift Feathers into it, and I came on the other side with 255 speed. It should be fast enough for our purposes. Here's what happened. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh well, you just hit a break point, and then you suddenly go from 4 second tackles to 3 second tackles. Lopunny and Pyroar both took exactly 180 frames, which is exactly 3 seconds, for the cooldowns to recover. So I thought, well, I've cracked it, right? At a certain point, just you go down a whole second. But then I thought, well, it's a bit weird that Lopunny didn't go down 2 seconds, if that's the case. Lopunny is much faster than everything else here, but it took exactly the same amount of time as Pyroar. And then I looked at Avalug. Avalug's tackle took 196 frames to replenish, which is a whole quarter of a second slower than the others. At this point, I came up with a hypothesis. I thought, you know what I think is going on? I think that move must have a minimum cooldown of three seconds. That's why Pyro and Lopani are just stuck at three seconds, because they can't reduce tackle any lower. We'll have to do more testing to figure out if that's true, but it seems plausible, particularly because the fastest moves in the game are moves like Quick Attack and Aqua Jet, priority moves from the main series games, and they have cooldowns of 3 seconds. And in the main series game, your speed stat doesn't affect priority moves, because they're already maximally fast. And so it would make sense that that might be the case that's happening here. Unfortunately, it means that Tackle was probably a bad choice of move. Let's run some more experiments with a move with a bit longer of a cooldown. Enter Giga Impact. Giga Impact is on the opposite side of the move spectrum from Tackle. It's incredibly strong, it has an animation time of almost 4 seconds, and a cooldown time of 20 seconds, or 1200 frames. It is not going to be easy for a Pokemon to reduce Giga Impact down to a 3 second cooldown. For the experiment, I taught Giga Impact to 6 Pokemon, a Heracross with 29 speed, an Avalug with 49 speed, a Diggersby with 79 speed, a Barbarical with 101 speed, a Meganium with 161 speed, and my Mega Lopunny with 255 speed. Make your predictions now, folks. We're about to see what happened. The true effects of speed were much easier to see with Giga Impact because there was just more cooldown to be reduced. Lopunny, the fastest Pokemon here, had a much shorter Giga Impact cooldown. Lopunny reduced Giga Impact's cooldown by 414 frames, which is about 7 seconds or a third of Giga Impact's total cooldown time. Whereas Heracross only reduced it by a mere 8 cooldown frames. The beautiful thing that we can do now is map these on a graph. So the x-axis is the speed stat of the Pokemon, and the y-axis is the number of frames it took for Giga Impact's cooldown to refresh. And what you can see very nicely is that we have a linear relationship. As speed goes up, cooldown frames go down. Now, I was thinking maybe there'd be some kind of diminishing returns, but no, we have a true linear relationship here. There's kind of two possibilities. Maybe the slow punny just always knocks 400 frames off cooldowns, or maybe it always knocks a third of the frames off cooldowns. To figure out which one of these two 
hypothetical scenario we're in, as well as to test my hunch that three seconds was the bare minimum, I devised one final test. Let's use the same Pokemon, I thought, but try a move with a seven second cooldown. If three seconds is the minimum, then there's four seconds to potentially be reduced for a seven second move, which would be 240 frames. So if I'm right, and, and three seconds is the baseline, and if it's the case that this is just a flat linear type scenario, what should happen is that Heracross, Avalog, Diggersby, and Barbarical have exactly the same frame reductions, but both Meganium and Lopunny are capped at minus 240 frames because that would be the number that would get seven seconds down to three seconds. Let's watch the final test. And there we have it, on the money on both fronts. We have the exact same number of reduced frames for our four slower Pokemon and exactly 240 or four seconds reduced for Meganium and Lopunny. So case closed, I think. Three seconds, definitely the minimum. A given speed stat just lops off a flat number of frames from the top of any cooldown. Regardless of how long the cooldown is of the move, it'll be four seconds lower if used by Meganium, unless that would put it below three seconds. Now that we've confirmed our hypothesis, we can find out exactly how many frames each speed stat cuts off. So, rise over run. Now I've got two lines here, a blue one and a red one. You can't really see the difference because they're on top of each other. The blue one is the exact value I get when I calculate rise over run between Avalug's points and Lopunny's points. And you can see it's a slightly messy formula, 1.796x minus 44.004. I suspect in the game's code, it's not going to be so messy. And thankfully, we can change it a little bit and get a very, very clean formula. 1.8x minus 45. So what does it mean? Well, the coefficient behind the x is our conversion ratio, 1.8. For every individual stat of speed we get, the game is going to take off 1.8 frames from a move's cooldown time, as long as it stays above 3 seconds. An easy way to think about this is for every 100 speed stat that you have, you're going to knock off 180 frames, which is 3 seconds. So 100 speed knocks off 3 seconds, 200 speed knocks off 6 seconds, 300 speed knocks off 9 seconds, and so on. The minus 45 is giving us our y-intercept down here at negative 45. What's particularly interesting for us is the x-intercept, which is happening at exactly 25 Step points. This is basically the game saying if you have 25 or less speed, it's just not going to contribute to frame reduction. You have to get over 25. And this is very nice because this is perfectly in accordance with our earlier observations. We tested those Flabebes and Hippopotas, which ranged from 12 to 23 speed, and they had no effect at all on speed because they were below this minimum value. We tested the Heracross, which had 29 speed, which was just barely above the 25 cutoff, and it did have a very, very minor effect on cooldown. So we have to slightly adjust our early uh, 100 to 3 seconds calculation by adding 25. So in fact, if you have 125 speed stat, you will get exactly 3 seconds knocked off. If you have 225, you get 6 seconds knocked off. If you have 325, you get 9 seconds knocked off. Amazing. I think we've, we've cracked it. We've, we've figured out the formula, and we can plot this on a lovely graph. By taking 25 off the speed step on the x-axis, we get this perfect linear relationship. We've solved the puzzle. I'll end the video by talking about a few of the implications of this for EV training for competitive battling in Legends ZA. So here we have a standard team of meta Pokemon in Legends ZA. This particular team was taken from Moxie Boosted's wonderful Mega Greninja is Broken video. Go check them out for PvP content. I've just borrowed their movesets exactly. We can look at the cooldowns of each of their moves, and we can see that 8 seconds is a pretty standard cooldown for strong damaging moves. 3 seconds is, of course, standard for priority. And then utility moves, setup moves, have cooldowns anywhere between 12 and 18 seconds. The question is, how much cooldown reduction are these Pokemon naturally getting from their base speed? And how much more will they get if you invest in speed? All Pokemon in ranked battles in Legend CA are set to level 50, so we'll be working with their level 50 stats. And at level 50, a 31 IV neutral nature, zero EV Gardevoir has 100 speed stat. And with investment, with timid max, it goes up to 145. The default case gives you a 2.3 second quarter reduction on all your moves. 
and the invested case gives you a 3.6 second reduction. Uninvested, your size shots will have a 5.7 second cooldown. With investment, that goes down to 4.4 seconds. When you mega, it raises your base speed, which gives you a good reduction on all your moves. In general, investing in speed is going to get you about 1.5 seconds of cooldown reduction, with some exceptions. So Metagross's bullet punch is not being affected by cooldown reduction no matter what, because it's already at 3. And for Mega Greninja specifically, because its base speed is so high, 142 base speed, it gets more than 5 seconds of cooldown reduction at max investment, which means Surf and Dark Pulse hit the cap and then stop benefiting. They hit the cap at about 190 speed, and then that last 20 doesn't do anything except for reducing Nasty Plot's cooldown, but I don't think that's very useful because Nasty Plot lasts a while anyway. Here's a handy table to see how the cooldown reduction affects a range of Greninja moves. The takeaway messages are, EV investment reduces cooldowns by 1.3 to 1.6 seconds. You get slightly more bang for your buck if your base speed is higher, because your nature is a multiplier. Second, 191 speed stat reduces your cooldowns by 5 seconds, which is going to be enough for most moves that you use. If you're using stronger moves, 9, 10, 11, 12 second cooldowns, you will get some benefit from having even more speed. Thank you everybody for watching. I swear this channel isn't dead, although um, you may not agree. Um, I have just over a month left of my study, and then hopefully I'll be back. You, you guys don't understand how, how much it hurts me to see all of those beautiful clickbaity video titles wafting away on the breeze because I've got other things to do in my life. Oh, the capitalist I could be were it not for my other intentions. Thanks to all my subscribers and amazing channel members, and I'll see you all probably in a month or so in the next one.